I'm going to uh, read you a quote from the famed uh, psychiatrist Sigmund Freud. And the quote goes like this. We are never so defenseless in life as when we are in love. And if you have uh, been in that situation and you've experienced it, you know what he means. When you are in a, uh, I should say, when you place yourself in a position where uh, you're hanging on every word uh, another person says, one positive word or statement from them can change your whole uh, and uh, outlook and feeling about uh, life and happiness and one negative word and word of one negative uh, statement uh, pointing to despondency and, and uh, indicating indicating uh, separation from them or s words that uh, can be um, this can be translated into you thinking that the relationship is ending or she's no longer interested in you or he doesn't matter which side you're on um, and uh, that can change your whole life and put you immediately in a depressing, uh, you know, depressed, uh, downward, uh, declining, hopeless uh, uh, mood. You know, you feel like your heart's dropping and all that. Uh, you are defenseless and uh, you are hopeless and you are vulnerable to the maximum degree. And this is all a case of a prisoner who holds the key uh, to his freedom but fails to see it and fails to use it. So my interpretation of what uh, the famed Sigmund Freud said uh, when he uh, created this quote is for people to realize, first of all, as we all know, the solution to solving any problem is first realizing that we have it. So my take is that he first wanted to make sure that you realize that when you are in love with somebody, or the key operating word here is when you think you are in love with, a, with somebody, and we are here strictly referring to romantic situations. I'm not talking about your love for your child, or your parents, or your relatives, or uh, you know siblings and things like that. No, I'm talking about strictly romantic love, which is always temporary and fleeting. So Sigmund Freud is trying to say, when you are in that situation, first of all, realize that you are uh, a victim of your own uh, uh, doing. And secondly, know that uh, the good news is that you can free yourself from it. All you have to do is step one and two. Realize that you are a victim of something you've created in your own head. And then all you have to do is take that key that's in your hand, put it in the lock and free yourself. If you are in a situation where you call it love, but in reality is some kind of a emotional trapment that you uh, created for yourself, where uh, a positive word from that person can make your whole world like a rainbow, and a negative word from that person can immediately bring the darkest clouds over your head, know that this is something you've created yourself. It's not reflective, reflective of reality. It has nothing to do with how real things are. If you are in a relationship where um, you're worried about the person uh, leaving you, if you're worried about the person uh, having affairs with others, leave that relationship. That is not a relationship to begin with. If somebody wants to do something, guess what? They'll find a way to do it. Let things happen naturally. If it doesn't come naturally, leave it. If somebody wants to be with you, they'll find a way to be with you. If somebody wants to spend time with you on a Friday night, when you ask them about going out, they're not gonna say, oh, let me think about it, I'll let you know. I'll let you know Friday night at seven o'clock when I don't have any other dates, then I'll give that time to you. No, no, even if it's two weeks before, they'll jump and say yes whether it's the man or the woman doesn't matter don't kid yourself the moment you place yourself in that situation where you are treating the other person more important than yourself 
you have already lost the game, my friend. You have to first believe in yourself. You have to first believe that you are worthy. And then hope that someone else will also see that same value in you. I hope you can read between the lines because uh, if Sigmund Freud was anything, he was not a light thinker, nor was he unintelligent, nor was he unwise, nor was he unaware of human interrelationships. But he said there is no moment in life when you are more vulnerable than when you are in love, prone to suffering, prone to pain, than when you are in love. Because when you are in love, you've let all your defenses down. You have given all the power to someone else. If it's an unhealthy love. And then your world depends on what they say and what they do. But when you're fully confident in yourself, when you know your own self-worth and self-value, you don't give a damn. You can take it or leave it. If they want to go out with you, they do. If they not, well, let the other poor victims have them. Poor victims because they are not sincere enough to say, well, you know, if that is how they feel, they are not sincere enough to tell you, you know, um, I uh, thank you, I appreciate your invitation, but um, I, am not, uh, I am not that uh, enthusiastic uh, about uh, uh, yourself. Uh, I don't know you and I just don't feel it, uh, you know, that much to commit to you for Friday night. And uh, I'm just being honest with you. Don't you respect that person so much more, even though you might be disappointed. You shouldn't even be hurt because you don't, you know, you're beginning with something. But you shouldn't be uh, hurt. You should be, uh, you know, you might be disappointed. But at least you appreciate them for being honest. But what percentage of people are that sincere and that honest? But the fact that I'm, the thing that I'm trying to tell you here is that they don't have to be. If you pay attention, you don't even have to be very intelligent. People will tell you everything you want to know by their words and by their actions. All you have to do is read between the lines. Understand, isn't that the major backbone of red pill? Understand what they are uh, really meaning versus what they're telling you. It's very simple. It's very simple. You tell someone, for example, I'm using very basic, uh, easy, uh, you know, examples. Uh, I go out Friday night. If they're interested, they say, absolutely, yes. Because in their mind, they're thinking, I'm going to put aside everything else and give this the priority that my heart and soul wants. But if they have any doubt, if they're 99%, and I'm telling you, 99 and a half is not enough. They should be 100. And that's what the attitude that you should have. They should be 100% enthusiastic about getting together with you because nothing else is enough and that should be your attitude and that's when it's your attitude when that is when you adopt that attitude that is what you get you get that or nothing and believe me if it's even 99.9 percent .9%, you don't want it you would not want it you don't want to be there you don't want to be with someone who's half ass about you or is just treating you like a, an option you want to be the priority as long as that lasts and it rarely does but that's another story isn't it all the best, gentlemen and ladies, and please remember that quote. You are never so vulnerable and prone to harm in your life as when you are in love. All the best.